Hey guys, so today is the first time in a long time I've had to film in the dark. It is pitch black outside and it is 20 past four. <laughs> I love winter. But today I'm right back at you with another K-pop catch-up. There have been so many comebacks and my comments have been inundated <laughs> with people requesting me to react to stuff so I thought I'd um, give you guys another K-pop catch-up, just quick fire, get all the things that you guys want me to react to out in one video. We have got a nice little collection of MVs to be reacting to today. We've got Secret Number, Stacey, Momoland, and Monster X, and CIX. So. Let's just jump straight in. <laughs> Before we start, of course, you know it is a Sunday, which means that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> Skillshare is an online platform that you can use to access lots of different lessons done by different creators and teachers. The website is super easy to use, super easy to navigate, and there are so many different lessons on there covering so many different aspects. You've got lifestyle, you've got life management, you've got simple stuff like drawing and fine arts, illustrations, photography, literally anything you can think of is on there, both lifestyle and skill-wise, which is super, super cool. So I normally do two lessons um, and to come back to you guys with my thoughts on them in each one of these videos, but this time I only had time to do one because I've been super, super busy recently, and I did a lesson on body language. Um, I, I didn't like. I didn't go onto the website thinking that I'd look for that specific lesson, but I just found it whilst I was browsing. I thought it sounded really, really interesting, and it really, really was. Like it spoke you through like, the history of body language, romantic body language, and I just find stuff like that really, really cool. I always have found like psychology and body language and how we perceive things as humans to be really cool. So yeah, that was a super sick lesson. I will leave a link down below if you want to go check it out. It was really fun. Like I said in previous videos, the Skillshare website and the way their lessons are set out is really, really easy to follow. You can pinpoint exactly what part of the lessons you want to watch. It also tells you how many other people are watching their class at that time. So sometimes it does feel like you're literally in an online class. And I think especially whilst we're in lockdown, the UK is still in their second lockdown. I think it's important to be learning some new skills, keep yourself busy. Skillshare is also super, super affordable with a annual membership costing under $10 a month. So super, super affordable for all of the content you're receiving. Like I say, under $10 is still under $10. So the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So please do go check it out. You do not want to miss it. And a massive, massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Thank you very much. So let's just jump straight in with our first um, group and that is Secret Number and oh my god it's about damn time I react to Secret Number. So you guys in my comments most of my spam is people requesting Secret Number because that you guys request it so often. I think my YouTube comments has started recognizing it as spam but I'm listening now I'm here. I actually meant to react to Secret Number's debut and I was like no no I'll save it for a K-pop catch up and then I just never got around to filming it but today we are reacting to their first comeback Got That Boom and I'm super super excited to check them out. I've literally heard nothing from them because I kept meaning to react so I just stopped like all kind of contact with them. I was like I don't want to spoil it. So finally today I am exposed to the beautiful girls that are secret number. So I'm super super excited. They have got so much hype for a rookie group as well. 11 mil views. I'm really gassed to see what they're about. I feel like they strike me as a group that have really good choreographies. So I'm excited for these. Okay, secret number. Got that boom. Let's go. Wow, high quality set. Dang. I don't know what um, company they're from. <gasps> oh, I like her voice. Her vocals insane. I know they're a very international group. They're very pretty as well. Oh, I like this. I like this pre-chorus. <gasps> They're hot as hell. I like the girl with the red hair. Ooh. Her voice is really nice. Oh my god, why does this sound like a 2000s club song? And I love it. It's like very like DJ girl that's fallen in love, you know? <gasps> oh, the little retro, a little bit retro, a little bit 2000s. <laughs> they seem so sassy, I love it! Get those! <gasps> that 
girl. I want to know everything about her. She gives me massive Sunmi vibes. Wow! All of their voices are so nice. Her and the girl with the red hair, I think, are my favourite voices. <gasps> but she, she's got a tone very similar to Uki from Uji Idol. I really like this pre-chorus. It's very 2000s. I love it! <gasps> okay, it's so like, I love it. The, the visuals of it are very, like, you know, that colourful itsy girl group vibe that's very popular in K-pop. <gasps> that girl is stunning! Uh, the one with the black hair and the... Her! Is it, was it her? This crook is also really good as well. They're so, like, sassy and, like... This gives me such OG god dance rate! This gives me such um like second gen K-pop vibes and like the really colourful kind of clashing outfit. <gasps> She's a rapper! This one's gone through so many genres, but I dig it. This this sounds like this really sounds like a second gen K-pop song with like a modern twist on it, and I love that. Like I'm such a second gen sucker. Shippy, come on! Okay, I really like this. Well, I've been missing out on this! That girl with the red hair, honestly. <gasps> what do company they're from? This MV is super high quality. <gasps> I didn't even hear them say got that boom that often. Wow, they're so cool, man. Okay, obviously since I'm reacting to so many groups, I gotta try and keep my final thoughts as concise as possible. So I'm just gonna say a little bit about each section. That was so good. Overall as a group, I really like how sassy and like confident and charismatic they are. I feel like a bad bitch listening to their music, which I always love. What's up with the song? I really like that song. I said a lot, it had a sprinkle of 2000s, had a little retro sprinkle, but over Overall, it seemed like a second gen song and I loved that. I think K-pop, its biggest thing that I'm worried about happening is K-pop becoming too westernized and it's songs like this that keep me like having faith in K-pop, staying K-pop and having that unique quirky element to it. Like, I love this song. I think it was really good. Their voices are insane. I really like the kind of low, like very like, ugh, really nice voices. And they're stunning. The actual music video, I said again, I, w I don't know what company they're from, but that MV was really high quality. Very simple, um, like it was them dancing. They're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Outfits were very like colorful and bright. Like I said, the aesthetic is one that's very popular and very traditionally K-pop, very bright, very girly, clashing. Loved it. It just seemed so like I felt so at home with this kind of concept, you know. I felt comfortable. And of course, they, I'm gonna say again, are beautiful. I, I think Secret Member has quite a few foreign members, and they've got a Thai member and a, a Japan, any Japanese member. Somebody will, a lot of people will correct me in the comments. I know. Please do let me know. But they are so beautiful, and I, I can't believe I hadn't listened to their song until now. Okay, so we're gonna move straight on to another group that you guys have been spamming me about in the comments, and that is Stay C with their debut so bad. And I was keeping an eye on these girls, and I was very interested about their debut because how I know them um, was that they did a lot of song medleys with, was it Mewfully? I just, whenever I saw like a K pop mashup kind of thing, it was always Stacey doing it, and their voices are stunning, and I was looking forward to them debuting. Um, but I kind of just missed it and I think it came out on a day that I had a doctor's appointment so I just missed it um, but let's just jump straight into this uh, So Bad debut because this is a debut and I get excited over debuts so let's just see what it's got and they've got such a massive fan base already I'm expecting this to be some good-ish so let's go Alrighty, stay, see, so bad Let's get The retro vibe is so strong and capable at the moment. Dang, this quality. What? Yo, what? They 
they give me huge Everglow vibes with their aesthetic and I love Whoa! So I need English subtitles. Yo, they are so gorgeous. Wow, it's so pretty! Again, super colourful aesthetics. I feel ugly. <gasps> I like this bit. Whoa, she's gorgeous! <gasps> wow, it, seems, it sounds like something from a video game. Like, it just everything seems like a video game. <gasps> Her hair, wow! Choreography is super cool as well. I like the outfits, they sound amazing. Her voice is so rich. <gasps> oh, wow. That is so so many bad bitches in K-pop at the moment, I love it. They're so cute and so girly but so badass, I love it. It's like as a group there's so much dynamic between the members. Her, I love her voice, it's so like... Iconic. <gasps> this chorus! It reminds me of like April's Oh My Mistake if it was like, if Oh My Mistake was like more upbeat and like clubby. They're so cute, they're so badass. I love that choreography. I hadn't seen any clips of them dancing, I'd only seen them sat singing. I'm pretty sure they're all quite young though, are they? I don't know. She's so gorgeous. She must be their visual centre. Oh, I've got a pin the needle. Her voice! I love this song. I love this song. <gasps> this is um, mm -hmm. this this song is going straight into my like you know when it's dark and you put on a candle and you jam this this this. <gasps> it's so it's such a high quality MV. Like dang. Girls got money in their in their debut fund. <laughs> They're so cute. I love this like th theme. I don't know what to call it. Like this group, like Stacey and also Secret Number, both have this very confident but cute but sassy vibe, and I love it. Oh my god, that was so good. Okay, so again, I really really like that. You know me. Again, this retro vibe is very very popular in K-pop at the moment. So I loved the song, and again, the vocals in this group are incredible. I'd heard them sing before, of course, with the videos of them that I'd seen pre-debut. So I was expecting insane vocals. But I didn't realise how much um, dynamic they had between them as a group. So you had the girl with the short hair and also the girl with the, I believe, the, the sparkly kind of, um, what's it called, sparkly extensions. They both have quite deep, raspy tones, which is so stunning. The girl with the short hair, killing Park Queen, I'm telling you. And then you had members who had slightly higher tones that were really cute. And together, it just gives them such a nice mix of sexiness and cuteness that, oh, I loved it. Then the MV. Again, I was super surprised at how high quality this MV was. It gave me like Everglow style vibes, which it is, in a way as in, it seemed like it's from a movie. The entire thing gave me, like, it seemed like it came straight out of a video game. They are so beautiful and perfect. It seems like they are video game characters and the sets are insane. The bit with the, like, um, lights. Wow. This was sick. Aesthetically, cinema cinematographically. <laughs> 
Oh. And then choreography! Again, like I said, I didn't know a lot about these girls dance-wise, I only knew them vocally, um, as vocally strong. So seeing them bang out such a cool choreography, I really want to see this live and in full, because it looks so good! What happened to debut, like, K-pop debuts used to be, like, kind of questionable to the point that a few years later nobody talks about the debut. Why are all these groups suddenly having such insane debuts when they all look so perfect and beautiful? What? Next, we have got another comeback that um, I, I think I kind of cheated on this one. I have kind of half seen this comeback. And this is Momoland's Ready or Not. Now, I was going to do an individual reaction to this, but I think um, it came out on the day of something else. And then when I finished filming the first one, something came up that I needed to deal with. So um, I ended up not being able to um, react to this. And I started watching it thinking I wouldn't film a reaction. And then it started and I knew I'd love it. So I was like, I need to film a reaction. So I have heard like the first verse. So Bobo Land, I really, really like. I don't follow them too closely as a fan, but I really enjoy their choreographies. I really enjoy their songs. I don't actually know what their last comeback was off of the top of my head. I'm really excited for this Radio Not MV. The chorus seems super catchy. I did listen to a little bit of the chorus, just a little bit. Because Bobo Land choruses are always so good. I was like, I want to hear it. So yeah, let's just jump straight in with Ready or Not. <laughs> Momo Land, ready or not, let's go. All oh, these MVs have been so colourful and cute, I love it. Hit it, DJ. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Then it's subtitles. We, yes, a list. Eat it all, so get down. Nancy's so gorgeous. Leave it now. Dirting Hannah Morning. You spin. The, like, the pastel aesthetic is really cute. It's definitely still got a Momo Land, like, twang to it. It sounds like a Momo Land song, but very different to Boom Boom. <gasps> wow, these outfits are really cute. I saw some, um, I saw the outfits on the live stages. Oh, is that Jane with the red? Oh, yes, Queen! Yeah, this sounds like something and I can't put my finger on it. It feels quite... I don't know if I'm too used to seeing nine members, but it feels almost a little bit empty. I love this choreography. So I had to see it before, I'm sorry. Oh, it's so good! Oh, her voice is so nice. She looks like an after-school member. Like, she's that gorgeous. And Dewey is just killing it. That outfit, let's go. I like that feel-good songs are coming back in K-pop. It feels like there's something missing in this MV. I couldn't tell you what it is. I think I'm just too used to seeing them as a full group, so seeing a small amount, a small amount of members in a big warehouse. That eyeshadow look is beautiful as well. Oh, cute! Huh? What happened to my voice then? I love stuff like that. Ugh. Is I? Her voice. Is that I in the night? I in the night? I, I, I love the pastel neon! This sounds like a summer song though, honestly. The vibes of it are massively summery. Oh, maybe... No, I wouldn't go. Oh, okay! Oh, a Dewey with those, um... With those eye contacts. Nice! How cute! Oh, and a bouncy castle. You know, bouncy castles make everything better. 
Okay, so I would like to start by saying that is just such a Momo Land song, and I'm very glad that it sounds distinguishably Momo Land, but not like Boom Boom and Bam. I feel like Momo Land got so much hate for having songs that sounded the same, which, you know, is just stupid. Wait, was Thumbs Up their last comeback? Surely not. Surely it wasn't Thumbs Up. That was like a February, January time. Oh my god, was it that long? But I really like this song. It struck me as more of a summer song, honestly, so it's quite strange they released it in the winter. But the vibes of it were still immaculate. Um, I really like the song. That it, that like, did -do -do, did -do -do, was very Momo Land. So I really, really like this song. I think their voices sound really good, and it just seemed like a real good, feel good K pop song, you know? I liked it. The MV was super pretty. Like I said, there was something that just felt like it was missing. I think it's because the spaces were so big, and then they would only have like one or two members on the set made it like seem a little bit like empty but um i really like the pastel neon aesthetic i think it looked really pretty they are gorgeous girls the outfits were amazing um they are just absolutely beautiful i think i'm really coming into their element um as far as their aesthetic and their vibe and their style which i really really like and as always the choreography my my dad always have such good choreographies this bit is so catchy like i i oh my god i would listen to the i listen to that song all day every day just do this so overall, overall I liked it. Um, it was a song that if it came on I would like vibe to it but not necessarily a song that I would put on myself but if that came on at K events you know I'd be in the middle of the dance floor like mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Okay next we have got a boy group and this is another song that was very very requested and this is Monster X with Love Killer. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It has been a hot second since Monster X released a Korean song that has really tickled my pickle, you know? Like, their English album they released in February, All About Love, I adore. Every single song on that album is golden and was one of my favorite albums of the year. And it's just been a while since they released a Korean um, track that has that same impact on me. So I have a lot of expectations for Love Killer and I'm gonna be harsh on them because I want them to impress me. Cause I, I adored Monster X. I went through a massive phase of them being my favourite group. Stuck, all in, beautiful, a, a, oh, like holy trinity of Monster X songs. And I used to collect their albums like nobody's business, but I just kind of fell out of love with the music they produced and like Fantasia I didn't look twice at, so I don't want it! I want Monster X back in my life, so please, I'm really hoping I enjoyed this. So, Monster X, love killer, please. Let's go. My bias in Monster X is I am, by the way. He's fine. Oi! Oi! I'm not looking sexy, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you anxious? <laughs> oh my God! Like Wait, all these, all the captions are in Korean. Give me mad Joker vibes, you know. Then Yan used to be my bias, and I am was my bias record. But now I've just given up, and I just say it's I am because he just ranked me too hard. Okay, okay, high hopes, high hopes. Come on, Shonu. Okay, okay. I like it way more than Fantasia. Yeah. Yanwon's vocals are so underrated, I think. Ooh. He is so hot, he is so freaking hot. Like, wait, excuse me. I'm a savage, love is I'm a slave, I'm a chill, I'm a kill. No one. is so fine. Don't get me wrong, if I ever had Shonu in front of my face, I'd feel intimidated as heck. Okay, I really like this, I really like this. Those red outfits are doing something and Young One is killing this killing part, like he owns this. Oh, 
Yo, show me with that hair in that suit. Hyun's ad lips actually add this to my lifespan. Oh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> oh, that is such a pang group, honestly. But I am, it's just he's something else. Hush, hush. I'ma take you down. You can take me down as much as you want, Lexi. I'm sorry, did I make you <laughs> Men, am I right, ladies? We'll start off with the song again. I'm having to say only a little bit. I have a lot to say about this MV, do not get me wrong, but I'm trying to be as concise as possible. That song, I really liked. It just, oh, the lyrics were sexy. They sounded sexy it gave me it didn't hit as hard for me as their songs like beautiful i think that their, their, their sound has just moved on and transitioned into something different they're the clan i believe it was series um was just so hardcore and just really about those drops like queen ready or not um but i guess they just transcended into more into something else with their sound and i can't be bad at that i really really like this song they all sounded amazing ki hyun's ad libs are so fire and i feel like hyung won's voice is greatly underappreciated underappreciated he has such a amazing voice and it really suits killing parts like that obviously juhan and i am kill the rap sections and those rap lyrics <laughs> Then the MV, they had this whole Joker Mafia vibe going on. Hyungwon in that outfit was something else. I, I can't even talk about how good looking they all are. Shonu with the lighter highlights and um, the suit, he looked a peng. I am is just so, he is just so hot to me. Like he's just so freaking hot to me. You interrupted me talking about my K-pop boys. Are you filming? Yes. Without the S, baby. But I really like this. I think the sets were really cool. The cinematography was really sick. They looked really good. The song was really good. Choreography, banging. But it's Monster X. What do we expect? All in all, a very pleasant experience. Ten out of ten. Would recommend to a friend. Okay, the final group that we have got for today's video is a group that I haven't reacted to ever on my channel. I don't think. And that is CIX with their comeback, Jungle Now. So I don't know uh, how many of you guys know, but I was an absolute bitch for Sung Hoon. During YG Treasure Box, I wanted him to win so badly. And when uh, YG Treasure Box did him dirty, I was mad. And then when he was announced for the CIX lineup, I was very, very happy. And I followed them to the ends of the earth. And their debut with Movie Star, I love that song so much. It is such a sexy song. I adore it with every fiber of my being, the MV, the choreography, everything about it is beautiful and then they had a comeback that was just completely off my radar really wasn't my thing and sometimes you can't help not liking songs if it's not your style but i you know i want to support them as much as i can because they are super super talented boys i think it goes without saying my bias is sung Hoon in cix uh, i'm super excited to see his beautiful little face again his beautiful voice Alrighty, so cix jungle <sighs> let's go my body is ready Last MV. Let's end it on a send it on a high. Let's go C9. Oh dang, I forgot what the storyline for this was. Whoa, how some Harry Potter ish! It's like ASMR in my ear holes. This is gonna be such a sick MV, I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it. I'm gonna love this, aren't I? <laughs> yes! He has such a unique voice, you know. He brings you OSTs.
Wow, it sounds like a Coldplay song. That like back the instrumental then. This is so sick. Like the cinema, like the the actual MV is fire. This currency looks incredible as well. Jin Young in that, in that. Oh, this instrumental is phenomenal. Jin's voice really, oh, that's so cool. Sorry, that shot made me weaker than me. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, what is the name of the artist that has choruses that sound like this? Somebody in the console will say and I'll be hitting myself. I can feel it. This choreography looks so good. Look at that! <laughs> BX, baby, let's go. <gasps> what, he raps? Yo, his rapping tone is insane. His singing was so underrated in um, YG Treasure Box. Criminally underrated. Wow, this is incredible. I want to see the light. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything about. I have no words, okay, I just gotta... Oh. oh my god, oh! Oh my god, that scared me, why did that scare me? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be like goosebumps, what the heck? Okay, so, I love that. I, okay, obviously I, I gotta keep my thoughts short. I, wow, okay, where do I start? That song was a phenomenal. It sounded like something that came straight out of a movie or a TV show or would be like a TikTok trend, which I guess in 2020 is a massive compliment. Their voices are so good, but their vocal line is so strong. I, you know, I mean, I've gotta talk about Sung Hoon for a hot second because his voice is so R&B style. On YG Treasure Box, he covered a lot of Dean. I think he has a very similar tone to Dean, which I'm just so whipped for. He sounded incredible. All of their vocalists have quite high tones, so a song like this suited uh, their voices so, so, so well. Also, BX, it's so nice hearing him sing. Um, like I said, his voice was criminally underrated um, on YG Treasure Box, and YG did him so freaking dirty. So hearing him sing in this song made me so happy. But they all have such insane voices and sounded so beautiful. And the actual song itself, the instrumental was so interesting. There was so many different inspirations in it. A little bit of Coldplay, a little bit of Imagine Dragons, a little bit of One Republic. I loved it and it is killing me that I can't remember the name of the artist that does the song that's like do, 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 do. Oh, I'll think of it, I'll think of it and I'll put it in the comments. That song was amazing but obviously I want to talk about the MV because that's was insane. A lot of you guys said in the comments of uh, my previous videos what this MV was about, but I really can't remember. So I will go read up on it and I'll come back and watch the video again. But I'm, oh my God, wow. One of my favorite MVs of the year has been G Idol's Oh My God, purely because of how beautiful it is um, and the cinematography of it. And this is up there, like alongside, oh my god, for one of my favorite MVs. Because Jesus Christ, have you seen it? The, it's the hands, the shots with all the hands, I mean, the chains. It looks incredible. The water, all the thorns, the fire. There is a shot where it goes from Sung Hoon, then transitions to Jin Young. Actually gave me goosebumps. Like, this was so beautifully filmed. Them dancing in the water with the um, graphic ceiling was insane. I just, oh, wow, everything about this MV was perfect. And there's obviously a storyline that I will read up on after the video. They look amazing. Those red outfits are insane. And they are just beautiful boys. Sing Hoon with the, with the curtains. But also the choreography. I really, really want to see this uh, live because the choreography looks amazing. BX's bit looked really good. And they just have such pleasing choreographies to watch very clean and considering the last song of theirs I heard was movie star which is very sexy and like smooth then having a song like this which is so like rugged and powerful 
I loved it. I loved it. Get you men that can do both, you know? <laughs> but that was the last MV I reacted to today. So thank you guys so much for watching this K-pop catch-up episode. Today we reacted to Secret Number, Stacey, Momoland, uh, Monster X, CIX as well. So let me know in the comments which group was your favourite. I genuinely can't pick a favourite. There were so many different concepts. They were all done so well. I don't think I could ever choose. But let me know which one you enjoyed the most down below. Also let me know what groups you want to see in the next K-pop catch-up. Also, 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 be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow all of my social media. Click the link in the description for a free month of uh, Skillshare Premium. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Why do my hands look so big? <gasps> what the heck? <laughs>